Hello Church, we're looking at 1 Chronicles chapters 20 and 21 today for our daily Bible reading, where the day is choice. Now it seems as this book is wrapping up, or at least the first half of this book, since 1 and 2 Chronicles were originally one book, but in this uh, division, right before we get to intermission, as it were, uh, we see things going good for David. We see conquering and God providing rescue and support for it, but then we see... Seemingly, pride comes in. In chapter 21, we tell we are told that Satan uh, is working in um, David's life, uh, tempting him with his pride or whatever else to do this census. Once again, a census in and of itself is not evil, but the motivation, the desire that David had was foolishness, right? He was looking to promote himself rather than trust in God and his armies. And so though he has um, a million people in his domain, he wasn't doing what God had called him to do. And so God provides him this unique chance, right? This is the only time in the entire Bible where God grants someone a choice in their punishments. And so we see God showing some grace, some mercy here to David and the people of Israel, allowing David to make a choice. As we look at our lives, we have to realize there are going to be times where we are tempted, but then we have a choice on how do we respond to that temptation. Now, God may also grant you the possibility of choosing some type of punishment or correction. Maybe not. Like I said, this is a unique moment here in uh, biblical history where this is the only time that God allows some choice. But our choice can also be, once again, on the front end. How do we respond to the temptation? Do we withdraw or do we indulge? So make good choices, listen to God, and avoid his judgment. But he, once again, is a loving father who provides correction out of love. All right, church, have a great day.